Today I'm interviewing Devon Woodland, president of the National Farmers Organization. Devon, you have been pointing out that this agriculture and transition phrase, uh, which we've been hearing about in the media, seems to point toward an actual transfer of agricultural lands away from farmers. And you've been saying that this is not necessary, not a necessary result. There's an alternative, and that National Farmers has a plan. What is the plan? Well, Phil, we want people to understand what the goals and purposes of NFO really is. Uh, it's a farm organization of farmers and ranchers who together can price agriculture goods at cost of production plus a reasonable profit. Does the plan have several principal parts to it? Yes, it does. We're asking people to do several things. Now, it's a very a reasonable plan, and it's not complicated. We're asking the farmers out there in the country to reestablish a communication structure in the organization that we had many, many years ago that was known as the Minuteman system. And its purpose is to enable us to reach out to farmers and ranchers clear across the country with a message at a given time so that we're all marching to the same drumbeat. Now, what kind of resources does the NFO of the 1980s bring to this plan? Well, we have the largest staff, the largest national staff, of any farm organization in the country. And so we're uh, offering that help, that staff, to the, uh, the farmers and ranchers clear across the country to accomplish this goal. And we think also that they need to establish some very friendly relationship with the newspaper and with the television, media, and prepare ourselves to handle the largest increase in commodity movement that we have ever had in the organization. What are you asking people to do? Phil, we now have planned eight meetings that are geographically located to reach the largest mass of farmers in the country. And we're asking all farmers, all ranchers, all businessmen, uh, whether they be farm credit or farm suppliers, to make plans to attend this meeting with us and we're going to outline a way that agriculture can be made to cash flow. Devon Woodland, president of the National Farmers Organization. My guest today is Bob Arndt, director of growth and maintenance for the National Farmers Organization. He's coordinator of the meetings for action to cash flow agriculture. Where are these meetings going to be, Bob? Phil, the meetings will begin August 5th in Minnesota in Owatonna. From there, we'll go into Wisconsin, August 6th and August 7th. We have two meetings set in Wisconsin. The date will be established and announced within the next couple of days. On August 8th, we'll be in North Dakota, and that'll be in Fargo. August 9th, we'll be in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. August 13th, in Lincoln, Nebraska. August 14th, we'll be in Ohio. That meeting will be uh, announced uh, in the next two days. On August uh, 15th, we'll be in Louisville, Kentucky. August 16th in Edwardsville, Illinois, that's right outside of St. Louis, and August 20th, Marshalltown, Iowa. What is the plan, the approach to be taken at these regional meetings? We're asking the farmers, ranchers, rural business people, rural uh, bankers, and farm credit people to come together to these meetings to unveil the plan that we have to achieve certain prices. Now, these prices are going to be announced on all major commodities at these meetings, and then we're going to unveil the plan on how to achieve these prices. And uh, hopefully when the uh, rural people, the farmers and ranchers, business people go back home, they'll have a thorough understanding of what the NFO really is, a thorough understanding of what the plan is, and then move forward to achieve the goals that are set at that meeting. Well, Bob, when you talk to people about this, what's their response? Well, Phil, the people in rural America recognize that we are not going to get the help from Washington that we need. And they are delighted that there is someone in agriculture who has a positive plan and good news for agriculture that can change your economic situation around. They're looking for leadership. And the National Farmers Organization has the largest nationwide staff of any farm organization in this country. And we can give that leadership. Bob Arndt, coordinator of the NFO Meetings for Action to Cash Flow Agriculture. A good way to put these meetings across is to make a good showing in the attendance. Everyone is invited. This is an interview with Pete Lorenz, who is regional manager of uh, grain operations for NFO in Kansas, Colorado, and Oklahoma. You specialists are saying 
you got to be in the market in order to make the market respond. Can you describe why that is? A lot of times to make a market move, grain has to move. And I think the simplest way that I could explain that is, is if I sold you a bushel of wheat for $3 a bushel, uh, as a buyer, your natural reaction would be to want that market to go up uh, so that you could make money on, on that product. And so a lot of times to get reaction in the market, grain does have to be marketed. And the buyer looks upon a, a collected a collected batch of the product, of yeah. the commodity, far differently from any individual bringing it in. Any organized effort uh, selling grain or, or selling any commodity will have an effect on the market because the buyer knows he's got a supply that he can depend on. And we've got to face the buyer's problem. One of his hardest uh, or one of the most difficult things for him is to obtain his supply and to get a steady supply when he needs it and where he needs it. And so dealing in large quantities of grain and, and being able to guarantee that supply uh, in a timely and a timely fashion is important to a buyer, and they're willing to pay for that. And that's why organized uh, selling can have an effect on the market. What's the mood right now? At least in the area where uh, I live in Kansas, Colorado, and Oklahoma, if you get a chance to sit down and visit with a farmer, uh, they're concerned about what's going on, and they're concerned about what they can do. The people that I've talked to are are thinking now uh, what they're going to do or how they're going to do it. They're looking for leadership. I've been talking with a grain rep for National Farmers Organization, Pete Lorenz, who's working in Kansas, Oklahoma, and Colorado. Now I'm interviewing Leroy Reckner, who's a grain rep for National Farmers Organization. He's at Wheaton, Minnesota, right? How's it going? We've been selling a lot of spring wheat, and uh, it's been with these bids have been on short delivery periods have been five to ten cents a bushel premium and we've been helping lining up the trucking assisting the bargainer at corning with making the sales and making sure the grains delivered on time and the farmers getting this premium paid to him i've heard you grain people say quite often that you have to be in the market to influence the market well definitely you have to move grain to move markets there's no doubt in my mind at all what it works i can remember years back when we were moving a lot of grain and as we kept making sales, the market kept going up, and as soon as we quit sales, because of the delivery periods, it seemed like the market for some reason would drop. I can't prove this, but I am convinced that selling grain does move markets and influence prices. What do you think of the prospects now, since uh, grain growers are in a very dire circumstances considering market conditions? Well, I think we've got to go back to square one, I guess, start from scratch again, start putting this blocks of grain together and get large enough volume put together so that we can start making sales and start pushing these markets up. Leroy Reckner, one of the NFO grain reps. When an organized block of grain comes on the market, it becomes a target, which the grain trade tries to get above in price. That's why being on the market affects the level. And now we hear Ted Strait of the dairy department. He notes an important warning sign in the now steady downward drift of the M&W series price. The M&W series is $11.20. That's $1.52 less than it was eight months ago, or an average of 19 cents per month. At that rate, just think, next year at this same time, we'll have the privilege of selling milk for $8.92. Now I want each of you to do me a favor. Take a good look at yourself and answer one question honestly. Can you produce milk for $8.92? And if so, how long can you produce it at that price? Well, I'll tell you, we're not going to take it anymore. The National Farmers Organization is a farm organization with one thing in mind, and that is to keep people in the farming business. And we sure can't do that at $8.92 milk or even at $11.20. But take a good look and see what is stopping the National Farmers Organization from working. It's called production. You know, the real problem belongs to the producers themselves. You are the one that are suffering right now, along with your neighbor down the road and your neighbor in town, as well as America as a whole. You know, we have a moral obligation to our families, our friends, and our country to do whatever deems necessary to do to turn the economy around and to keep the land in the hands of the independent families. That's why your organization is standing up to fight and your help is a must. A series of meetings for action to cash flow agriculture will begin August 5th with a Minnesota meeting in Owatonna and want you to urge all farmers and ranchers from everywhere to come to these meetings. There are 11 other meetings being scheduled right now across the country. At these meetings, NFO will present a new plan to push farm prices high enough to make it possible 
to cash flow agriculture. All producers are on the same sinking ship and an agricultural wide effort is needed to turn the situation around. You know, there is enough money in the marketplace to pay agricultural bills and retire its debts, but farmers and ranchers will have to go after it. We can reverse the trend towards lower prices and return prosperity to agriculture if we focus in together on the marketing system. You know, this isn't a farm organization problem, it's a farmer problem, and the help of all producers is essential in turning it around. The number of rural people who participate in the meetings for action will determine how long it will take to increase farm prices to fair levels. The announcement alone of this new program has the potential of totally shocking the industry into some positive action. You know, there was a crisis rally in Ames, Iowa, and now there are going to be solution rallies all over the country with your farm organization leading the way to achieve the goal of cost of production plus a reasonable profit once and for all. Meetings for action to cash flow agriculture. I like the expression meetings for action. It has an old time NFO ring to it. And that's why the National Farmers Organization deliberately chose to call the nationwide series of regional meetings, meetings for action. What action? Farmers and ranchers to come into the marketplace organized, selling together, that kind of action. No matter how well one might describe the farm problem or how accurately one fixes the blame for the collapse of farmland values or rural bank failures, nothing really is getting done to solve the problem until farmers and ranchers can get immediate cash flow. What about the expression cash flow? Even NFO activists use it nowadays. It used to be called profit. Perhaps one spoke of agriculture uh, when one spoke of it, too many got out of the habit of thinking of profit. But what farmers and ranchers need is to restore enough of it to pay their debts. Other businesses take into account their costs, including their interest payments, their retirement of debt, their replacement of capital equipment, and they figure out how much they'll have to charge to cause enough cash to flow through the operation so that there'll be a profit so the business can survive. That's what every conservative capitalist and every liberal thinker who cares about people will agree upon. A business has to have enough cash flowing to make enough profit to survive. So the meetings for action are simply to get farmers and ranchers to say in public loudly and clearly that they're going to charge enough for their commodities organized in the marketplace to keep on doing it. Meetings for action to cash flow agriculture. And that's your county informational tape service for August NFO meetings, compiled and edited by Don Mack, director of the broadcast division. I'm Phil Allen. And for August, let's turn out for the meetings for action to cash flow agriculture. <laughs>